Mind control. The mind control. But mind control, speaking of this, we're gonna have us uh, a Sinji versus two, nine super buy set. And here's the thing about this. I really feel like, you know, barring, you know, a lot of the Sinji and John number set, I, I really feel like we might see a little bit more of an aggressive type of, you know, um, you know, style from Nine Superfly, just because of the way that, you know, as much as we, we're not really seeing two of it just yet, the way that they kind of approach a lot of situations just makes it, like, so unique. Yeah, I was actually talking with Sinji about this matchup a little bit earlier. And the thing is, this is one of his most practiced matchups. The fact that he's been fighting numbers for so long, he knows the exact ledge traps, the exact edge guards he should be going for. And as we saw right there, taking a really early stock, now he might be able to play. I mean, if it's Sinji, you know he's going to be playing to this lead. The other thing I want to quickly mention is that, you know, most of uh, Sinji's experience comes from Numbers, who's a more patient style of defense. But in the city, you also have Luigi Jesus, who's more on the aggressive side. So it's not even like he's missing that component of matchup experience. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he understands every angle of this character. Absolutely. And that's exactly what we might need to see. Just it put into full effect from Sinji. Just absolutely, you know, making this a pretty good lead for himself. Just a little bit struggling to get back to the ground, and that struggle is going to end in an up smash in Nine Superfight's favor. Very nice. Really smart up smash there. You know, I was actually... Once again, this was something that uh, Sinji was talking to me about. Something that people really don't talk about is the fact that moves stale when they hit your opponent's sheet, right? And that means that the safety of certain moves becomes less the more that they use it to space. And I think that what actually happened there, I could be wrong about this, but he was using fair a lot. He was throwing out fair on shield quite a bit. I think it was stale to the point where that up smash, that's why he was able to connect like that. Because normally we see, you know, since you go for forward airs and the opponents really struggle to punish it. Oh, oh that was looking a little bit bad. 4-9 Super 5, but we're gonna go ahead and get back onto stage. And we need to see a little bit of something coming in from 925 before this ends up in a Sinji stock with only 92% on. I that. will say, it's only 92%, but considering the differential that existed starting this, uh, you know, after that first stock, you know, he's been clawing it back. I feel like he is actually understanding some of the, uh, the exact nature of the matchup and how to adapt to the way Sinji is playing. The question is whether it's going to be enough here because Sinji is, uh, once more, once again, he has a lead. And the way he can play to a lead, it's almost unlike any other player you're going to try and stay with. Absolutely. We've seen it so many times before. And that Alto is not going to take it out just entirely yet. But this could be very bad for Sinji, actually. Losing that for um, that last stock. And we are one stock of these. Now, I, I feel like the one thing that is like kind of the main determining factor is of... The understanding of, you know, 92 Provides Mutual, a lot of the time, they'll just choose to just consistently throw so many things out. Header, you know, um, Sun Salutation, um, Repeat. And it's kind of one of those things where it's just like, I feel like, obviously, what? Oh my god! What? Okay, I... Hold on a second. The reason why that worked is because I've never seen numbers do that in my life. That is one of the advantages, maybe, of when you play against somebody who has a lot of matchup experience with one or two players of a character. If there's something that they don't really go for, then that might not be something they're prepared for. I mean, oh my god, that killed at like, what, 70? 60? I'm gonna be completely honest. So, here's the thing. Now, that is definitely a thing that you... I, I've seen multiple times from WeFit, but I'm gonna be completely honest that Gen Numbers experience was not happening to G in that moment right there. Not yeah. even close, but for sure. We're going to have to get back into the second game. Uh, one game up on, you know, Sinji. We have a nice super fight, and that was that was a really good just, like, one-time thing that actually really helps nice super fight. But we still have a little bit of the situation where we have to play this neutral and have the neutral, and this is already looking bad for Sinji. Yeah. I, man, and it's... I also want to just, like, for a moment, dwell on the exact position and bracket that we are in. Oh my god, that's the second back in a forward leading to a stock! 
What's happening right now? So this is loser's quarters. Loser of this gets fifth. Uh, that would be devastating for Sinji. Sinji is one of those players where he wins Xenos. He, he regularly wins Encores here. And the fact that he is struggling right now, it can maybe affect him mentally, you know? He was, ex he was seated number one at this tournament. The idea that he might go down at fifth to this Wii Fit, a matchup that he himself professes, he's very, very experienced and he has a good handle of. And you want to know the thing too, it's really just like one of those situations, oh, like that up smash situation right there, but we really, you know, I, I feel like it, it's just the way that Sinji died really just set him back. He was in the lead for a really good moment right there, but it just had to take on his mental. I, I will say, um, I'm going to redact that because when Sinji went down by that much, you know what he did? He slowed down the pace and already had managed to make back all that differential and now he has that slow pace in his ingrained in his mind he knows that he can't be just running in and i think that that's a much better play style he's still down right now but it really does feel like if he just continues playing the way he is oh my god as i was saying playing slow and then he commits to like that down smash but uh nonetheless i i do still think that this is uh I feel like Sinji's mentality is actually where it needs to be at this moment. I actually have one question. Do you know who Sinji lost to? I actually was wondering that myself. I do not. Uh, was it Emerilus? I don't think so. Um, who was Emerilus playing against in winners? Nine Super Pi, but after that, I mean, we were yeah, I saw that, but for sure. Um, and this might be a run back from winners then. Because I feel like this is, I, I feel like 9 Super Pi was a very deep in bracket, mm -hmm. you know, like got to quarters, so it might be that this is actually the uh, the rematch. Mm -hmm. It could be, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, we really... He lost to Tony Pajamas, that makes so much sense. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, that that's a new one. But, obviously, really good player as well. Ooh. Oh, Tony Pajamas just like kills all of the New York staples all the time. Well, can we just talk about how Night Super Fight had a lead and then where's the lead? I'm saying Shinji slowed down the pace of the game. That's what it was. He realized, no, I'm running into things. No, I'm getting hit by these moves that I should not be. And then he fixed it. He cleaned it up. And at this point, if you're 9 Super Pi, all of a sudden you're like, wait a minute. I had this. I almost cured a death to him. All I needed was one. Was This would have been my game to win. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, now he has to, he's struggling to kill Sinji, who's at 173%. He was killing him at 60 just a second ago. How is he now not able to finish him off? You know? Oh, that was a down smash attempt. But I, wow. Just really like interesting, that but that no. no, it was the deep breathing. The deep breathing wasn't there yet, or it was. It just got lost. But this is has to be super hard, especially on nine super pie, because even if they do take off the set, there's going to be a lot of readjusting that they have to do in order to actually bring this game back. But bell in hand, could no anything more. come out of it? No, it's a bell. Who? Bell where? I don't know about no bell. Okay, very nice stalling. We're seeing a little bit of a situation where this could be really bad. 4-9 Super Pi just getting hit by too many of these, you know, projectiles and not having any time to actually just set up. Ooh. Oh, that's a key. So Sinji going for the key basically is, he rarely goes for it nowadays. Instead, he opts for things like the, uh, the bell, like the apple. Um, it's mainly when he's... Oh, that's going to be it, yeah. Uh, but he goes for the key when he's like trying to usually take out his owner, who's maybe, maybe just pushing buttons from across the stage, maybe not paying attention to him the way he should be. Uh, so, Sinji, with a beautiful comeback in there in Game 2. And the fact that the first part of that game was so dominant for 9 Super Pi, and then Sinji just fixed what he needed to, really gives us a glimpse, a window into I th how I think this game three is going to go. If Sinji manages to maintain that calm, cool, serene pool of uh, Pac-Man going patience. chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah, well, no, chomp, chomp, chomp is like when that pool starts bubbling over and, uh, you know, you get... It's chomp, but make it slow. 
It's like make a slow. It, it. Oh god, a slow chop. I don't know why, but that just like seems gross to me. <laughs> just like an extremely slow chop. It's like somebody chewing with their mouth open. That's exactly what that is. <laughs> Is that how we're describing this style of play from Sinji? I mean, you got to make sure that you don't choke on none of the food that you have in. You got to make sure you savor all of all of these, you know, neutral interactions with apple, with um orange. All of these all of these you have to digest it and 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 just take yeah. it all in. I do but agree with you that I think that Sinji has to not choke. Because I think that's kind of what's happening right now. You know, this is similar to that last game where uh, Nine Super Pie had a massive lead. This time around, finally with a little bit of stage positioning, maybe he can uh, once again slow that pace down. But no, goes for like perhaps kind of an overextension. And at 155 percent, he has to be scared of a lot of Wii Fit options here. I like that down there. Then are gonna catch that jump and gonna take off Sinji's first dog. And this is where we can see Sinji start to crumble. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe. I think that, you know, he definitely has the potential to make this sort of comeback happen. We've already seen him do it once this set. But the thing is, will he actually be able to maintain? This is game three now. There's not a lot of wiggle room here. Will he be able to still maintain that level of patience? Ooh, just ready lap, you know, 9 Super Pi in percent. Sinji is not going to get that kill just entirely yet. And the the way that I really like how, you know, 9 Super Pi is actually going about getting back to, you know, ledge is actually just by staying really high. They've been having so many high recoveries and Sinji has barely been able to actually take a stock off for that. And that's just really good on 9 Super Pi's part because that's made it super hard for Sinji to actually take off this first stock. Already at 100%, this is where we can kind of see Sinji lose their second stop. Okay, even that's not enough to do it. Good stuff from Super Pi to be jumping at those full hop heights. Because that means that even if he does get hit by Bell, he won't be dying. Okay, and 146%. There's definitely ways that Pac-Man can kill at this point. But he usually needs those fruit to help him along. Ooh, very nice recovery right there. It only takes a back air to take that stock. We are right now on the verge of seeing 9 Super Pi beat Sinji. Oh man, and this is the sort of thing where Sinji will be going out at fifth place. He is a top level player here in New York. He has a lot on the line. I think that the uh, the PR season just ended, so the new one has begun. To have a like a loss like this to break, you know, to to you know ring in the new season. That's not how you want to do it. But even then, I think it's it might be in the car. It's Sinji struggling to take the stock at 197. And oh, well, I was gonna say never mind, but I don't think this is something that people actually like really think is an issue for Pac-Man. And Pac-Man not being able to kill is something we like don't normally see too often. But it surely does happen. If, if the opponent is able to play around his options, it can actually be such a chore to end stocks. And so right now, things are starting to run back for Sinji. Oh no, right as I say that. But he's starting to, you know, make the run back, this comeback happen. But I do want to just dwell on the clock. You know, we have three minutes left. But if Sinji does play extremely patient, it could be that 9 Super Pi can play to his outs. Like, look at this. Although right now, there's too much time on the clock. Honestly, the fact that Sinji has already made the, you know, the uh, the difference only by this much. Super Pi has to be so scared of what he can do. Galaxian is in hand. I'll try to maybe get a combo going. I like that. He knows that he doesn't have the actual uh, the, the opportunity to land the Galaxian, so he doesn't even bother trying. <gasps> Crab going the wrong way was actually so bad for Sinji. He's trapped at the ledge right now, trying to find his way back. That Hydra just like being a wall has been paying dividends for Sinji, but after a certain point, he needs to make something happen. Ooh, this could be what's gonna happen. This is this is so close, but it's just not entirely out yet. No way! Oh, oh what my was that? god! No, 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 that was up smash! That was definitely an up smash! Oh my god, this is so scary! You 
definitely can be feeling Ooh. for nine super pi because Ooh, this is so close oh, he the Axel. where are the deep breathings okay there it is now if you're stingy things have just gotten so much worse not only does he have the uh, he also you know is a little bit more resilient if that bell connects though we have a minute 30 on the clock we're probably not going to see a timeout happen but at the same time we're getting to the minute mark Bell in hand! Ooh. Ooh. Picks it up just before the back air lands! Ooh, you gotta be super careful! That's gonna not be it! No, we're only at 164%, and Sinji's going all the way to this guy, so he can actually get back to the stage. This is so scary, and wow, that Hydrant was almost being very detrimental to Sinji right there, and this could be super bad. Okay, he goes off stage in order to get the Bell. And if Bell connects at this point, that will definitely be the game. But how is he going to find it? A minute left on the clock. Shinji's spending so much time off stage. There are risks to it. He couldn't re-grab it. He's going in, but that's going to do it. Don't tell me. Ooh! That's literally so crazy. That was such a good game coming in from 9 Super Pi. And the thing to that last few seconds of that game, Nine Super Pi was super. Wait, what? Hold on a second. What? Is this top? Is this best three out of five? This is best three out of five. Oh my God! Hold on a second. Oh. We were we were doomsaying there. We have more games to go, folks. We apologize. Although I'm honestly kind of excited because the way that last game went, if we get a few more of those, I'm definitely happy. Things are not out of the woods yet for either of these players. Ooh, wow, <laughs> that was um. Oopsie daisy. Normally we don't actually do top six, I think. Maybe? You did say fifth, right? Yeah. This is top six right now. I don't know if we normally do top six. I know we definitely don't do all of top eight. Is. I thought it was just uh, like top four. Like uh, semis. Semis are all uh, best three to five. But, you know, no, know. that's not the case. We're, we go hard. This is the month. I'm a little new here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> this is, I have zero excuse. <laughs> it's okay. We can both be on the same page. And speaking about being on the same page, we're just a little bit even. <laughs> oh, my God. That was super. Oh, my God. That was so scary for Sinji right there. Oh, a little, little tiny of, uh, ah. Imagine sending. Oh, we fit into the blast then with that scary ghost thing. That's so crazy. It's oh. it is Halloween season of the spooks. The spookiness. We had a witch. Yeah. We have ghosts. What else we got? Right. Um. Uh. uh uh, top tiers, the scariest thing of all. You can't forget about Wii Fit. Get healthy. Exercise, not nothing scarier than exercise. I don't know. I kind of like just being a skinny legend. Hello. Never I mean, eating. Like, no, I like exercising too, but I, if I am, I will not pretend like I'm not terrified of it. <laughs> um, but we have to get back to it. And since you're living at 174%, this is. This is a normal, a normal thing. A normal he's, thing. He's living, but only 13% on 9 Super Pi. 9 Super Pi might not be able to actually take the stock here, but he's doing a really good job of not getting hit. Absolutely. And only not getting hit, uh, I was going to say, you know, healing up some damage, but... Did you see that up tilt? He stuck out the up tilt right before the downer could come out. That's an option that Super Pi has already shown he's willing to go for, as we saw at the end of that last game. So already adaptation from Sinji, knowing how he's supposed to anti-air yeah, that sort of thing. Oh, this is looking like it's gonna be really bad if you know nine super. Oh, never mind. I I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Excuse me. Me speak. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> what? That was looking like nine super would have died if they. I. I don't know. Well. I think that Sinji didn't want to, like, just assume that he was dead. Mm -hmm. He plays against numbers enough that, like, he probably just assumes the Wii Fit can make it back. Because mm -hmm. definitely when you play against numbers, you're like, oh, oh man, he's dead. There's no way he's making it back from this. And then he just, like, fucking juice from 16 feet away. Magic! But for sure, we have nine super pies sliding across the stage and at 110%. And this is just not what we saw. We had a really good, you know, just lead from nine super pie in that second or that third game. Sorry. 
but it's just looking like Nine Super Pi might just be losing a little bit of steam. Oh, Sinji taking 62% from that. You know, he has a nice solid lead, but this is the point where he does have to start thinking about how he's going to be getting a kill. Because otherwise, this gap differential already being made up by uh, Super Pi. One thing, that, oh, one thing I just want to do, I want to quickly mention, is the way that Sinji, that was hilarious, but the way that Sinji um, utilizes his own tools to neutralize the projectile game from that Super Pi between the high jump but also the fruit. He'll be charging a fruit and then throw out just like an orange or a melon in order to intercept, uh, you know, one of the sun salutations or a header of some kind. It shows expertise in the matchup, as you saw right there. Another move of expertise knowing the exact uh, move he needs to do in order to kill in that position. Ooh. That f toe isn't going to take it, but I also want to add to that note, the way that Sinji has been, you know, adapting to a lot of these ledge trap situations, understands that this is exactly how 9 Super Pi wants to get back to stage and never really giving it to him, and that is why I should stop talking, because at this point, it don't even matter. Got that back here anyways. Hello? Honestly, that was so fantastic. The way that he totally baited Sinji into thinking he was forced, you know, going to land right in front of him. And then he stays in the air, winds up behind him for that back air to connect. And all of a sudden, yeah, this is a completely even game between these two players. Then again, Sinji's shown that he's able to make back, like, a two-stock differential. So can he, uh... You know, they're one-to-one, one, one one. they're neck-and-neck. Neck. Can, he, can, he, can he manage to even win in this position here? I don't know, but that would be super, like, just really crazy if we actually saw 9 Super Pi actually make this back after being down so long for the game. And now they're both swinging. I was saying before how, oh, Sinji, you know, when he really slows down the pace, that's when he can make, you know, real magic happen. But it feels like right now he is not really comfortable doing that. He's going in. He's getting hit for it as well. And you know the thing, too? This is something that, you know, 9 Super Pi has just started doing. Really punishing, you know, Sinji for actually pulling out Hydrant. Really good on 9 Super Pi's part because now, look at where we're at in terms of percent. This could be really bad, especially with deep breathing on. Ooh, oh, man. Numbers way up top there. <gasps> That's such a... I don't know what that F Smash was trying to cover, but... Sinji almost dying for it outright. He's at 133%. Meanwhile, Super Pi is healing back the damage that Sinji had done to him. Ooh, oh boy, this is looking a little bit scary. Woo! No Don't tell way. me that's going to kill. Not entirely just yet. At 114%, we're still seeing 9 Super Pi hit. Oh. Oh boy, running right back off to that other side of the stage. This is something that's going to make 9 Super Pi feel comfortable. He wants this game. Oh. And you can see it because he's going to get that freaking Sun Salutation and take off Sinji at bits. The maximum Sun Salutation is transcendent.